Good morning, everyone. We are spending the day with Honda's unique take on the pickup truck, the Ridgeline. This nameplate has been around for quite a while at this point and has gained a relatively small but fiercely loyal following. Special thanks to Gates Honda in Richmond for giving us access to this high-end Ridgeline Black Edition. But as always, we'll also be covering the other trim models as well. So with that said, let's see why so many people swear by the Ridgeline formula. Like always, we'll start out with the exterior design, which hasn't seen any changes for 2019. That means it continues to bear a strong resemblance to the Pilot that it's based on, but it doesn't have its updated 2019 face. Nevertheless, the Black Edition does look a lot more intimidating, with all black everything except the dark bronze trim across the top. On all the other trims, that would be chrome instead. Regardless, that trim integrates into the headlights, which are LED low beam and halogen high beam on this Black Edition and the RTLE. On the other trims, they would simply be halogens across the board. And down below, you'll find a separated turn signal and fog lamps on all but the base RT. Around at the side, though, is where you'll start to see how different the Ridgeline is from the typical mid-sized truck. It's actually more noticeable since the black paint disguises the fake gap that you see on other colors. But this is a unibody vehicle, which means there's no separation between cab and bed. This approach allowed several unique features to be added to the bed, which I'll talk about shortly. Moving around to the rear, it looks pretty much like any other pickup, with tall LED taillights flanking the tailgate. On our black edition, we do also have a bronze accent on the bumper to match with the front. And while I'm back here, I will mention that towing is the same as in the Pilot, which is 3,500 pounds for front-wheel drive models and 5,000 pounds for all-wheel drive models. All said, the Ridgeline is more of a family-oriented vehicle, and it conveys that with softer styling than what you find in rivals like the Tacoma. Now working our way around to all the features, our Black Edition has special black wheels. They are 18 inches, like on every Ridgeline, and while the finish is different, they do share the same design with the RTL, RTLT, and RTLE. The remaining two models get a 10-spoke design in either silver or dark gray. Moving onwards, the mirrors also change designs between trims, but they are always power adjusting and heated on all-wheel drive models. Additionally, you will find blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert on the inside of the pillar for the top two trims. If you have one of those top two trims, you also get the Honda Sensing suite of active safety features to go along with blind spot monitoring. Included in that are forward emergency braking, lane keeping assist, adaptive cruise control, and auto high beam headlights. But getting to the coolest part of the Ridgeline, we have the innovative bed. To start off with, the tailgate opens two different ways. The traditional way, or via a side hinge. Once open, there is actually a hidden trunk underneath the bed floor, which is watertight and locks with the rest of the vehicle. The dimensions of this are 7.3 cubic feet, and one of the cool things you can do with it is use it as a cooler when tailgating. Honda also had tailgating in mind when it added a 150 or 400 watt outlet in the back, as well as the truck bed audio system. It has surprisingly good sound quality, and you can control it with your phone without having to get back inside of the vehicle. Finally, there are plenty of tie-downs and LED lighting. Well, that pretty much sums up everything on the outside. So now let's see if the interior is as unique as the outside. So somewhat surprisingly, Honda actually includes smart entry and remote start on all but the very base trim level.
Now to get in, there is a sensor behind the door handle, so all you have to do is grab it. So first looking inside the cabin of the 2019 Ridgeline, everything looks very familiar to me because it's based on the Pilot I was in recently. However, on this black edition, it does look a lot meaner. Now as far as your color choices, most models get the choices between black, gray, or beige. This of course is black as expected, but we do have special red contrast stitching and red perforation. And speaking of that, we do have leather seating and leather seating comes on the RTL and up. All the rest get cloth seating. Now turning to the door trim, it is extremely nice. You've got leather with more red stitching on the armrest, and then everything else is covered in high quality soft touch plastic, and then you've got some piano black trim. As far as your windows, they are one touch automatic for the driver and passenger, and you will also find two person memory seating on the RTLE and Black Edition. Coming to the seat, the RTL and up come with this 10-way power seat with two-way lumbar support. And like I said, these are special seats for the Black Edition. They have this really cool red perforation, and the leather feels really high quality, looks really nice, and then you've even got some embroidered uh, Black Edition right there. Truck sets pretty low, so getting in is, well, the same as in the Pilot. So like I said, the interior does look a lot like the Pilot. However, that does mean it also keeps the very nice materials from the Pilot. All of your upper dash is made from a really nice soft touch plastic with stitching. And then through the middle, you've got some piano black trim. Lower areas are hard touch, but everything feels really, really solid. Now start up the ridgeline, just press this button. Over here, you've got the 8-inch display, which is standard on the RTLT and above. Otherwise, you'll get a smaller 5-inch display. So unlike the 2019 Pilot, the Ridgeline does not get the updated gauge cluster with the 7-inch display. Instead, it keeps the old one with the 4.2-inch display. Nonetheless, this does do all your standard affair stuff, like your trip computer, navigation, tire pressures, etc. Coming back to the wheel itself, it is electric power assisted, and most models get the nice leather wrapped wheel. You will also notice on this black edition, you've got some red contrast stitching. As far as your buttons, these are just your standard affair of audio, phone, and voice buttons. And you do also have heating on the RTLE and black edition. And then on this side, you've got your adaptive cruise control. The wheel itself does manually tilt and telescope. And then off to the side here, you've got a series of buttons, including for your cargo lighting. Now, as far as storage goes, the Ridgeline carries over all the storage from the Pilot, so it is definitely the best in the class. Starting out over here, you do have the same minivan-like armrest from the Pilot which does give you all this area free to stick stuff. And then inside the center console here, you've got an extremely large and extremely deep storage area with a little sliding tray. You will also find a 12 volt outlet and this USB port is now standard on all trims where it was previously reserved for just the higher end trims last year. In addition to that, you've got another big area here with some more connections another area right here, and then you've got a ton of storage over in the door, plenty of space for all types of things. Unlike the Pilot, you do also keep the traditional shifter instead of an electronic one. So for drive, all you have to do is pull back to the D. Now you do have a low mode, but you don't have any capability for manual shifting. When in reverse, you do have a standard backup camera, which also includes trajectory and three different views. And on this loaded model, we do have parking sensors as well. 
and the mirrors tilt down when in reverse to help you see the parking lines better. Now back behind the shifter, you've got a button that Honda calls traction management. And this allows you to switch between your normal, snow, mud, and sand modes with if you have the all-wheel drive system, which the Black Edition has standard. And also want to point out, you probably can't see it, but there is red accent lighting on the Black Edition inside the cup holders. Now moving on up from that, you've got the exact same three-zone automatic climate controls from the Pilot on all but the base ridgeline. So obviously the controls are the same, you just adjust the temperature with these nice toggles, you've got your fan speed zones, and you can even adjust the rear climate settings from up here. So overall, super easy to use. In addition to that, you will also find two stage heated seats on models with leather seats. Anyways, that brings us to the audio. So let's go ahead and sample the 540 watt 8 speaker premium audio system. Sound quality is very good, and the bass is very good thanks to the standard subwoofer. Anyways, that brings us to the Honda Link system, so let's go ahead and take a quick look. So the 2019 Pilot got the updated Honda Link system. However, for 2019, the Ridgeline sticks with the same one. That means you've got the slightly outdated graphics, however all the functionality is still the same. Now in all models with the 8-inch display, you do get navigation, which is nice. This is your Garmin-based setup, and it is very responsive, also supports pins to zoom, and has good graphics. Additionally, the other big benefit of the 8-inch display is that you have smartphone connection, which is Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Those are not available with the smaller 5-inch display. As far as other stuff to mention, you do have phone which has all of the standard affair of stuff. You can click phone book and it'll see all of your contacts which have automatically synced over from your smartphone. And you've got these nice tabs that you can jump between. I do also want to point out that here on the black edition, throughout the whole system, you've got the red accents which nicely match with all the accent stitching throughout the cabin. Well, that pretty much concludes everything important to look at in the system. But of course, we do have a detailed tech help video available for those of you who want to learn more. A link to that is provided in the video description. Now moving on up from that, you will find an auto dimming mirror on the RTLT, along with your Homelink Universal remotes. Now right here is one of the big 2019 changes, and that's that the power rear window and power moonroof are now standard at the RTL level versus RTLE on the previous model. So you just do that and open up the power rear window. And then of course you've got a standard size moonroof as well. It does also come with a windscreen. So overall, the cabin of the Ridgeline is extremely pleasant. This is a vehicle that since it's based on a crossover, it feels very crossover-like in here, which is a code word for very comfortable. A lot of mid-sized trucks have cheap feeling cabins and this cabin feels very luxurious. Now I'll go ahead and show you the rest of the cabin. So looking into the back seat, you've got 36.7 inches of legroom and 38.8 inches of headroom. Now those numbers are pretty much in line with the Toyota Tacoma and Chevy Colorado. 
Looking at the door trim, it is mostly the same as in the front. So you've got the leather with the same red contrast stitching. However, this part is all hard touch. And the window is powered, but not automatic. Now, as far as your amenities in the back, like I already mentioned, you do have three zone automatic climate. Now, you don't have your own controls back here. However, just having the ability to set the temperature independently is basically unheard of in this class. And then down below, they do also include two charging USB ports. So as far as what the leg room looks like, I'm five foot eight and I'm sitting behind my own driving position and I've got about a foot of space, so very generous. Then over here on the other side with the seat all the way back, I still got two or three inches, so you're gonna be comfortable unless you're extremely tall. As far as other things to look at, you do have an armrest with some built-in cup holders, and the center seat has its own headrest, which a lot of trucks don't include. So all in all, this is an extremely comfortable space with a lot more amenities than mid-sized trucks typically include. Now, like most trucks, you do have the ability to fold up the seats. So on the ridge line, you just pull this and lift it up, and then it will lock into place like that. Now what's different about the Ridgeline, however, is that the floor is completely flat. So you can store whatever you want underneath of here. As you can see, it can actually be pretty tall. And you have all that space, plus this floor is also flat as well. I'm gonna let it down, just grab it, and push down. So here on the passenger side, you do also have a power seat, just like on the driver's side, with the same really nice leather. Coming down here to your glove box, it is nicely sized, but it is not uh, dampened or felt lined. You have a nice sun visor with mirror and light. It is not extendable on the passenger side, however it is extendable on the driver's side. Well that pretty much does it for everything we need to look at on the interior, so now let's go ahead and move into the powertrain section. Alright, so under the hood of the Ridgeline, it's pretty simple. There's just one way you can get it. That's with a 3.5 liter V6, making 280 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque. And that's paired to a 6-speed automatic only. So no 9-speed like in the Pilot. Now this truck does come standard with front-wheel drive or optional all-wheel drive. All-wheel drive is not available on the base trim, and all-wheel drive is standard on the RTLE and this black edition. That means there are two different possibilities for the fuel economy. For the front wheel drive, you got 19 city, 26 highway, 22 combined. And for the all wheel drive, 18 city, 25 highway, 21 combined. Those numbers are better than some of the mid size truck rivals. All right, so let's go ahead and take it on a quick drive. So acceleration feels pretty strong in the Ridgeline, um, and the engine has a pretty nice sound. It sounds a lot less coarse than what you have in the Tacoma, for example. Now 
Now here on this black edition, the gauges actually have a red outline once you start moving. It's, so once you build up some speed, they change to a red outline. So as far as your ride and handling, as you would expect, it is very similar to the Pilot. So that does mean it's significantly uh, more comfortable than what you find in most mid-sized trucks like the Colorado and Tacoma. Now since this does not have the 9 speed like I already mentioned, it also does not have auto start stop. So you don't have to worry about that if you don't like it. Um, I definitely don't miss the 9 speed automatic. The 6 speed seems uh, plenty responsive. It shifts very smoothly. Um, and like I said, really the biggest thing you'll notice is just the ride. It's tremendously comfortable. Um, you know, so overall, this is a great, a great package. You know, if you want something that really feels super trucky, this is not it. However, if you want a real comfortable family truck, uh, this is probably one of your best options.